Hello, Resurrection. It's Thursday, June 18th, and uh, this is week who knows. Uh, I don't even uh, I don't even remember what week this is of our of our quarantine of our our strange time. Uh, you know, I think that the health of folks in the parish is pretty good. We don't have any confirmed cases uh, of coronavirus that I know of. We've had several people tested, but I, I think for the most part, uh, folks are, are healthy. Our, um, our services continue to, be, uh, to, to, to pick up and to increase. I think that my number one concern is still... Uh, right now for our for our own folks, of course, I'm concerned for people all over the world, but in our little sphere for our own folks, I think the economic situation has taken a, a, a larger toll. I do worry about folks paying their mortgage and people who have lost their jobs or lost uh, their work and their income. So uh, I think that is my prayer this morning that I will open with this afternoon that I'll open with. So the Lord be with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we remember before you all of those who suffer want and anxiety from lack of work. Guide the people of this land so to use our public and private wealth that all may find suitable and fulfilling employment and receive just payment for their labor through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I know that you all know uh, folks who are are dealing with terrible financial uh, crises as as well. I will remind you that that the the Church of the Resurrection is not able to help uh, with vast sums, but uh, but what we have, we will we'll share with anyone who needs it. My grandmother used to say, "As long as we've got a potato, you've got half a potato." Uh, so if you know somebody that needs half of the potato, you let me know, and we'll take care of that. I want to thank you all for uh, for how hard you've worked staying connected in the church. Uh, I, I heard a couple of of, uh, of priests last week talking to their congregations uh, from a place of real anxiety, um, real worry about the number of folks who are disengaged and whatnot. And that is not an anxiety that I'm having at Resurrection. Our uh, our folks are as plugged in as I think anybody can be right now, and I'm grateful for that. And not only am I grateful because it means that Resurrection is so important to our folks, but I'm grateful on a personal level because I cannot do this without you. Uh, and I have I have so appreciated you all being there, being in my corner. I think it's one thing we do well at Resurrection. We pull for each other. Uh, we, 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 never, we never do give up on each other, and we circle the wagons when we need to. I think you've circled those wagons beautifully. Now, uh, so that being said, things are starting to pick up a little bit at, at church. Yesterday and today have felt so good at Resurrection because there's been a little bustle in the office. Now, we're still being careful. Uh, we're still being cautious. We're wearing our masks when, you know, when Ann and Pat and I are in the office, we don't wear our mask because we're exposed to each other every single day, right? It's, it's, it's practically uh, like family at this point being exposed to each other. But when someone comes in, we put our masks on and we do that very, very carefully. And yesterday and today, we've had, uh, we've had church ladies here. Y'all know I love a church lady. We've had church ladies here uh, uh, getting the parish hall spruced up a little bit. Today, uh, Susie's ladies Bible study, the Thursday Bible study, met with masks in the parish hall spread out. They had a, a, they had a tea and they had a little shower for the kitchen. They have taken it on as their uh, special project right now to get that kitchen uh, sparkling and painted and repaired, and, and they are proud of it, and they have every right to be. It looks so good. Uh, and so today they they brought uh, shower gifts for the kitchen, things that our little kitchen needs, uh, things that match, uh, novel concept. And boy, it looks good. I can't. I cannot wait for you to see it. I can't wait for you to see that playground. If you haven't been on the Facebook page to see the pictures of the playground, Look, it's not even half done, and already it just knocks my socks off. It looks so good. The kids have been the kids who have been here at church have been on it. Uh, we've had to fight them to get them off of it, which is exactly what I wanted. Clearly visible from the parish hall, 
uh, inviting from the parish hall. You see it. The, it's the first thing you see when you walk into the parish hall besides that beautiful cross, uh, the Jerusalem cross that Charlie made for us uh, recently. Uh, you, you know, kids can be seen playing, can be supervised from the parish hall, from the air conditioned uh, parish hall uh, while their moms and dads drink coffee and eat their donuts or, or whatnot. It has just done so many good things for us and we'll continue to do them. It, it, it's even a great base to support a tent in case we ever wanted to uh, overflow from the parish hall under the tent to do a wedding reception or the crawfish boil or whatever we wanted to do. I think we're going to have a ball uh, out there with that. I'm so proud of it. It looks great. And it says... Children and youth are important at the Church of the Resurrection. Speaking of children and youth, I know that, that all of our children and the families of the children have been in constant contact with Elizabeth. I know that she has sent things to them and she's keeping tabs on them and I'm grateful for her work. Uh, George, uh, the, the, our youth direct, director of youth ministries is, is in the same position. He uh, visits people in their, their homes, on their back porches and in their yards. Uh, he does that several times a week uh, for folks. He's in touch with them, delivering prizes from their Zoom conversations to their homes and things like that. And he's got big plans for the youth room, which will say the same thing that the parish says. This is a priority for us at Resurrection. And of course, it is a priority for us. All right, now let's let's talk briefly about what this Sunday will look like. I think we've hit that mark. I think 93, 94 degrees, which is what uh, the the uh, the forecast tells us for Sunday. I think that's my limit, folks. I don't want to sweat through thousand uh, dollar vestments, uh, so I think we're moving back inside. We'll go back to our regular eight o'clock and ten thirty service now. Uh, I think if we all agree to wear a mask at that late service, then we can safely sing a hymn or two. So make sure you've got your mask on because I do not like uh, not singing in church when we can. So we'll sing some good rousing hymns with our masks on. Uh, nobody will, uh, nobody will see your mouth moving. So you can, you can just let it rip if you want to. It'll be a hoot of a good time. I'm ready. I am so ready to sing some hymns back in our church. Uh, Hildegard is ready. She's preparing hard to, to, uh, to help us with that. Now, we, we probably still need to make reservations for the 8 or the 1030. That will come in, uh, in Anne's bulletin to you, which includes the link for this uh, video message as well. It may be that we need to add back a third service because things are starting to pick back up, gr gratefully starting to, to, to pick back up. Now, all of that being said, I know that there are still people who are not ready to come back and who don't need to come back. I, I, I think too highly of you to, to, to sit in judgment about that decision. I support you completely, 100% with that decision. If it's not time for you to come back yet, we will continue to broadcast the service in the 1030. Now, the broadcast from the outside service has not been going very well because we don't get a good enough signal out there. But the broadcast will be back to good audio levels, good visuals, and things like that when we move back into the church on Sunday. So the broadcast ought to be much, much easier starting uh, this Sunday. The outside broadcast just really did not work. So we will do that. So you can always join us that way, too. Uh, remember, if you have any need yourself or you know of anybody who's in need, you let me know. You know I'd want to know that, and there are things that Resurrection can do to help. I love you. I miss you. I hope to see you Sunday, but if I don't see you Sunday, I hope to at least hear from you soon.